want to just briefly go over the this new feature that's in the latest update that just came out for Photoshop CC. It's called Generator, and it's really quite amazing what it does. It's it's actually kind of mind blowing, uh, based on the alternative. So let's say I'm in the first example, I'm mocking up a website, so I start building my little interface and I've got like a logo and, and the name but it's of course made up of a bunch of different layers. If I wanted to turn this into a separate graphic in the past I would have had to select these layers, copy merged and paste them into a new document and then save for web or save as PNG or whatever it might be but it was it, besides the fact it took a few steps, it was kind of permanent because if you need to change anything, you have to start over again. And that's the power of this thing called Generator. So all you have to do is go to the file menu to generate and make sure image assets is turned on. I've already created a folder on my desktop into which I've saved this graphic. If I didn't do that, it would just automatically create a folder on my desktop. And just to make my life simpler, I'm going to take all these layers and then choose new group from layers. And all I need to do is name this group whatever I want the graphic to be called. So if I call it logo.png. Now I'm before I click okay to names, I'm going to tell you this is real time. I'm not there's no tricks involved. I'm not stopping the recording. When I click okay, nothing appears to have happened. But if I switch to my desktop, there's a folder and there's a PNG file. Done. Pretty cool. But watch, it gets better. If now I look at it and I say, wait, maybe this logo, I'd actually prefer it to be red. As soon as I commit the type, I go back and it's updated. That's crazy. It's that instant. So you don't have to be constantly going save as and redoing and copying everything over again every time you want to make any change. You literally make a change and it updates. I mean, <laughs> seriously, think about the alternative of how long this would have taken. Now, it appears, it seems very logical to assume this was really designed with web designers and interface designers, anyone doing on-screen kind of stuff, but it occurred to me, it doesn't have to be. Here's a layout that I created for printing. So this is a full-size print document that I've put some text at the bottom and I've got a smart filter and let's just do one more thing with like argument. Let's add a stroke on this just so we add a little bit more. And I've saved this document. Once again, it's in a, a folder. And in this case, what I want to do is have this as kind of like a template that I can update anytime. So this is a camera raw smart object. I'm going to take this layer and the type layer and convert to a smart object. Then just double click on this and call it print.jpg. And this, once again, I can't even move fast enough to go and find the new JPEG that it just created automatically. Pretty darn cool. Same rule applies. If back here, if I made any changes to my smart object, it would automatically update. Now the other part of this that's really quite amazing is that along with just naming the group or smart object or layer something like .jpg or .png, there's all kinds of other options. I can put in numbers to designate the quality of the JPEG. Look at this example. I'm going to duplicate this one and let's call this small underscore print dot JPEG 50%. As soon as I name that layer, I go back and look and now I have the original print and a smaller version of it. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So there are all kinds of options, but basically you just, however you name the smart object or group or layer is what determines the output that's created automatically on the fly. And as we saw in both these examples, it updates constantly. So as soon as you make any change, you go and look at it and it updates. So I think you'll agree that this generator concept is pretty darn interesting and the fact that it just I just got a notification today that said oh there's an update to Photoshop CC and here it is pretty amazing.